Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is sending proactive Power Virtual Agent chat notifications to users from Power Automate. Let's go. All right, so let's talk a little bit about why this episode is important. And so this feature is actually probably my favorite feature of the year from a Power Platform perspective. Uh, this is something that I've known about for a little while and uh, just been really looking forward to actually uh, getting my hands on it. Shout out to Michael Chow from the PVA team uh, who owned this feature and uh, <laughs> him and I have been chatting about it for quite some time. So it's awesome to see this now available in preview. And so naturally chatbots are an effective self-service technology. Now the problem is, is that in order to use a chatbot typically, you need to initiate some sort of conversation with the chatbot and then the chatbot will go ahead and fulfill some sort of request on your behalf. Now, what we can do though is kind of flip that around and we can actually drive engagement, which is a key metric through the use of this feature by proactively reaching out to a person saying, hey, you need to go ahead and take care of this or hey, did you know about this new information? And so naturally we still wanna be able to take advantage of deflection because that means we're gonna have productivity benefits. But now we as the bot builder can go ahead and initiate the conversation as opposed to passively waiting for the user to come visit us. And so that's what's pretty cool about this specific feature is that we can now go ahead and do that. Now, in order to use this feature, you do need to use Microsoft Teams as your chat surface. And the reason for this is that Microsoft Teams is what's known as persistent chat. So you can close your Teams client, you can come back to your Teams client, you're in exactly the same spot as you were before. All of your messages are persisted for a longer term. Now, as opposed to say a like mobile experience or a web experience where you close down your browser, everything disappears, that's one of the key differences between you know non-persistent chat and persistent chat. And for that reason, that is why this feature only works with Microsoft Teams. But the benefit is if you're building internal chatbots, you should be using Microsoft Teams as your canvas. Like there's so much that comes for, you know, along for the ride, such as like authentication and the ability to, to like set it up and, and go through uh, approval processes and the governance is all there. It is a good option and probably the best option in my opinion, if you're dealing with internal chatbots itself. And then what I really find interesting about this feature, and that's why I'm calling this out is in terms of the art of possible, like it's really limitless from this perspective. It's really comes up to your creativity, your imagination. We have over 500 connectors in the power platform and then thousands of triggers that belong to those respective connectors. And now what you can really think about is like, hey, when would I want to go ahead and contact a user? And even be better, when would I wanna go contact a user and then be able to perform some sort of transaction on their behalf? That is how you get deflection. That is how you get productivity. That is how you get value out of chatbots. And that's what's really interesting about this feature is that we can now reach out when specific business events occur and say, hey, did you know about this? You need to take care of this. You know, we can even then start a, a topic, like another conversation and to be able to collect even more information that would allow us to perform an action on behalf of the user itself. So I'm pretty pumped about this. I'm also pumped about this for reasons related to RPA. And we're gonna talk about in uh, an upcoming video, for sure I'm gonna do something on that. You know, RPA naturally has some long running processes. You don't necessarily wanna be blocking a chat conversation as a result of it. But what if you could kick off a process and then receive updates, you know, from Power Automate using this specific feature and then be able to go ahead and uh, and you know send updates to your your end users, your customers. Okay, so it's pretty important to understand the different prerequisites of this feature. So as I mentioned on the previous slide, so this only works with Microsoft Teams uh, due to persistent chat. And then on top of that, the bot must be published at least once. So when you go ahead and you, you know, build your PVA chatbot, you make changes to it, you do need to make sure that you publish it. It has to be published. Now, the other thing is that because we're using Teams as our chat canvas here as well, the end user that's going to receive the chat 
request or the message naturally needs to ensure that they have access to the chatbot, that they've got the PVA app has been enabled for them inside of Microsoft Teams and that you know they haven't blocked the bot or uninstalled the bot. So naturally that has to be all sort of working happy path if you expect this to work. Now on top of that the Power Automate flow used by the bot must be created in the same environment otherwise you're not going to be able to see the chat bot show up, show up in the drop down to choose which chat bot you want to send it to itself. So very important to figure out these prerequisites uh, before you start using this feature and uh, so it probably requires a little bit of change management where you do ensure that the audience that is going to be using this has the right access before you start you know dropping proactive messages just in so it does take some some careful planning I would say from that perspective now this is the action we talked about itself so as you can see we're gonna go ahead and use a teams action so this is an existing action what has changed though is this post as so if you've used flowbot flowbot shows up in this drop down also so does a user like your own user account also shows up but in this case we're going to select power virtual agents now this is a preview feature and we're going to post in chat with bot so this is going to come as if it's a message from the chat bot itself as opposed to flowbot where you start to like push people into other experiences this is going to continue inside of the chat that they would have origi originally used previously and then naturally we can go ahead and select the bot itself so in this case I'm going to choose this customer service bot which is just kind of a, a sample bot that I've been using and I've made available inside of Teams and that's why it shows up here uh, so if you haven't gone ahead and published your chat bot to Teams you're not going to see this yet back to my previous comment about change management get things set up first then do this the recipient this is where you would provide someone's like UPN or email address and they'll be able to like auto look up and you'll be able to select who you want to send it to and then in this case we can go ahead and press and send a message now here what's going to happen is when the message is sent it's going to look like just a static message itself in this case it is time for you to update your employee benefits now if we want the user to go ahead and to do something we need to basically give them those instructions so here we're going to say type enroll to begin the process when they type enroll and hit enter what's going to happen is that's going to issue essentially a trigger phrase and from there as long as we match up a topic with that specific trigger phrase we're going to go into that topic so it's uh, you know we're kind of not really tricking it but we're prompting the user to go do something that then the bot can go ahead and naturally action so let's go ahead let's build out a demo what we're going to do here is from a, a power automate cloud flow we're just going to manually trigger this now naturally you could go ahead and schedule this or use other triggers and connectors that you want to sort of kick this off but just for demos we're going to use a, a manual process and then what we're going to do is we're going to send a message into our chat you know and then from there we're going to ask them to go ahead and, and type enroll and then we're going to take them through a specific topic so let's go ahead and let's draw jump into that demo okay so let's start off in PVA and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create that topic for benefits enrollment. I've got some trigger phrases including enroll which is what we're going to prompt the end user to go ahead and perform. Now this is just a sample obviously it's going to be more involved than this and you know every company will have different processes and different ways they want to handle this but what we're just going to do is when one of these words are basically provided uh, we're going to go ahead and just send a message back saying let's update your benefits and you know this is a pretty typical scenario for companies where like every year you have to remind employees to go ahead and and uh, enroll in benefits and and oftentimes like an email gets sent out and sometimes that's good but us oftentimes it ends up in other it ends up in junk etc this is going to be a very targeted specific way to reach out to our end user now we can have a essentially a little bit of a workflow here where we're just going to say has your family situation changed and then we can go yes no and in this case Okay, so we're going to just ask if uh, the person's family situation has changed. If yes, we'll go down this path. If no, we're going to then go down this other path and just say, like, would you like to change your benefits? And if they answer yes, then it's going to converge uh, to this node where we're going to ask people to go ahead and fill out 
the form naturally with benefits a little more involved than just like you know answering a bunch of questions in a chat bot although it kind of depends on the situation maybe you can address it there but um, otherwise if they choose not we can go ahead and record that and then we can go ahead and send them an email just confirming that they've chosen not to go ahead and modify their benefits if they did want to choose uh, to modify the benefits they can go ahead and, and click on the link and then you know go to that that form page naturally so obviously just for illustrative purposes just to show you how all of this works so I went ahead I saved this I went ahead and then published it over here and now I'd be able to access this from my chatbot itself inside of Microsoft Teams here so I've got this specific chatbot available here now what we want to do is we're going to go into Power Automate and like I said before we're just going to have manually a trigger manually trigger a flow and from there we're going to post a message in a chat or channel so those are the three options that I described previously in the slides here we want to make sure we're using Power Virtual Agents we are going to post in a chat with bot and then this is the chat bot that we do have now I need to provide a uh, recipient So let's go ahead, let's do that, and let's go ahead and save our Cloudflow here. And you know what I do want to just emphasize here is like here I'm manually triggering a flow, but just think about all of the other possible scenarios based upon these connectors and triggers that exist. Like, you know, when a new record's created in a database, when a new record's created in SharePoint, you know, perhaps exposing something through like an HTTP trigger. You know, there's so many different use cases, like everyone should be using this feature if you're building internal bots with Teams as the chat canvas. Like, this is such a powerful feature, just do, do take advantage of it. Okay, so we're ready to now go ahead and test, so we're just going to manually go ahead and kick off this chat bot. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we have kicked off our flow from Power Automate. And then what we see now is that we do have a notification coming in from Power Automate that's basically is the message that we had configured over there. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and click our, sorry, we can go ahead and type enroll, and which is a trigger phrase as we talked about earlier. And that what that's gonna do is that's gonna actually now go ahead and kick off our process, right? So this was the, the first question in the topic that we had previously dis discussed at the beginning of this video. And so this just proves now how we've gone from, you know, passively waiting for requests to come in from users to proactively engaging with them. And in this case, kicking off that whole process around benefits, benefits enrollment, where we can now go ahead and ask more questions and uh, direct people to the right resources or even better, go ahead and transact on their behalf which is which is very cool right we talked about this before we're sort of flipping the model upside down and we're being proactive and we're going out reaching out to our users and this is going to significantly bump up your engagement rates like that's the the biggest takeaway from this video is that your engagement rates are going to go through the roof now as a result of going in and reaching out to folks when you do have pertinent business events now naturally you don't want to spam people uh, that's going to turn them off but when there's business events then you can go ahead and reach out and uh, it's it's great to see this feature in action all right so that concludes another video hope you enjoyed it uh, i do think i'm going to be expanding upon this specific use case and i'll get a video around rpa and how we can actually use this to deal with some long-running processes from an rpa perspective so looking forward to that uh, if you're not following me on twitter go ahead and find me at Weirzy. Naturally on YouTube, likes, subscribes, comments, always welcome. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll catch you next week. Later.